Michael Keane could reportedly miss out on Everton's final pre-season friendly due to a minor hamstring injury. Everton are scheduled to play AS Roma at the weekend at Goodison Park. It's a five o'clock kick-off, that one. The Blues have already picked up quite a few injuries this pre-season. We haven't seen anything of Nathan Patterson. We haven't seen anything of Jared Branthwaite so far this season. Uh, and now it looks as though Michael Keane will uh, miss the final pre-season friendly. He's played in others, of course, um, but... You know, I think the manager would have wanted more options. Obviously, Everton do have Jake O'Brien, who has uh, scored in both of his Everton outings so far. So, looking forward to seeing him at the weekend. Um, but there's no indication as yet whether Brantwaite will play any part this weekend. And that's not ideal, given the uh, Premier League kicks off next week. So, uh, let's see what happens there. Uh, Everton looks set to miss out on Stad the Rem midfielder Amir Richardson as Fiorentina have apparently agreed a deal with the French club for the midfielder of around €10 million. Euro. Uh, Everton, according to a report um, this afternoon, says that Everton have still got an opportunity to jump in because not everything is finalised between the two clubs, but it's whether Everton have got any money to be able to do that deal right now. Uh, otherwise, the lad is off to Italy, which would be a shame because he is. He looks like a very good prospect. Like I've said before, it's a Ghana case, 35 next month, and you're looking for those midfield reinforcements. But um, if you haven't got the money right now, we haven't got the money right now. Everton also reportedly holding interest in Habib Diara as well, who also plays in France, and he's another one that the club are monitoring. A uh, story coming out of Spain today is that Everton are linked again with Belgian winger Largi Ramzani, the former Manchester United Academy player. is uh, 23 years of age, right-footed, plays for Almeria, played 29 times last season, scored three goals and got five assists. He can play anywhere across the front three. Uh, I think he's in the final year of his contract and wants to leave the football club. Everton accredited with an interest in him in January. And obviously this story has circulated again. And sticking with the winger stories, uh, apparently Ro, uh, Ramon Souza has told his club tellers that he wants to leave Everton. Link with him over the last few weeks, he apparently wants to leave the club. The fee for him is thought to be around £12 million. So some options for Everton uh, to to get the from, you know, some more from players sorted. We know they want some pace in wide areas. But again, it always comes back to cash is king. And right now it looks as though the Blues have to sell someone before they can get their next set of, uh, of players coming in. So whether that happens quickly or whether it happens towards the end of the window, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Everton have today announced that they've secured a landmark stadium partnership with Aramark. The world-leading food and drink service provider will become a founding partner at the iconic new home of Everton Football Club down at Bramley Moor Dock. The partnership will revolutionise the fan experience at the waterfront venue, introduce frictionless experiences, whatever they are, will help make Everton Stadium one of the most advanced in Europe and the partnership will create 1,200 jobs and a new social enterprise between Aramark and Everton in the community, which is good news. It's good news. Lots of jobs being created down there. It's good that Everton is now starting to announce these sorts of found and partners. You get a bit extra money for that. We need a few more of these commercial deals to boost the coffers uh, because ultimately it's about creating money that can be put on the pitch and we can all enjoy watching better, exciting players as well each year as you try to build that squad back up and hopefully get to a place where Everton can be looking at challenging for Europe or things like that. But this is good. Everton have announced their latest uh, partnership. That is it for me. Check out the Inside the Game podcast with Joe Parkinson over on the More Than The Game channel. Uh, the former Everton midfielder talks about winning the FA Cup, uh, how much he loved it at Everton and also the fact that his career was cut short, very sadly, by injury. Go and check that out. It's well worth a watch. Uh, that is it for the day uh, for the news day. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.